Hey, welcome to the show. Take a look at this. We got a gigantic division problem for you. It is requested from one of my subscribers, Karaoke SB3MB. So thank you very much for writing that down in the comments. I'm always looking at the comments. Also, hit that likey button if you like my show. It always helps me out. Another uh, shout out to Mary Jane Arto. So thank you very much for uh, your thank you. And we also have one from, I think it's from Maureen. And um, I'm I'm in grade four and from the Philippines. So, hey, we got a lot of people from the Philippines. So that's one place I would love to travel to. And also from Rico uh, says, thank you for teaching me. I got 100 marks. Yeah, <laughs> high five. I wish you guys could do a high five. Hey, we better get going on this problem right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here, put it over to the side. And again, thank you very much for requesting that. Hit that likey button right now to let me know you like my show and let's get started. All right, um, we have a big problem. So how do you get started? We need to know how many times 56 can go into, not five because that's too small, into 57. Well, I think I can put it in there one time because one times 56 would equal 56. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one right here Make sure I got my pen tool on. So I'm gonna put the one right here and then one times 56 equals 56. All right, and our next step is subtraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract just like this and then seven minus six equals uno, one. So I'm gonna put one right here. And then our next step is we bring that next number down. Just bring it down <laughs> right here. So we're gonna put 18 right there. And now, how many times can 56 go into 18? It, it, it can't, can it? But we do have a number that will work. Zero. Zero times 56 equals zero. So stick with me, all right? I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna put zero right here. And zero times 56 equals zero. Subtract, all right? So do you see what I'm doing here? So now I subtract. So 18 minus zero is 18. And now you bring down the next number, which is a five. <sighs> Gotta add those little sound effects to make it cool. And then we just start the whole process over. You're like, well, how can you do it? I gotta make this number a little smaller, don't I? So that's the cool thing about working on a whiteboard is you can kind of manipulate the numbers a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and size that up, size that down a little bit. So we have room to work with it. All right, let's bring that over here. And now let's get right back into the problem. How many times can 56 go into 185? Well, I'm just kind of guessing right now, like if I round this to like 60, like six, 60 times two would be 120. I'm thinking I can go a little bit more. So let's try right over here. Let's do a little figuring. So 56 times three. And it's okay to have a bunch of figures over to the side to try to figure out what, how many times 56 can get into 185. So six times three is 18, carry the one, five times three is 15, plus the one, 16. So we have 168. Do you think we can go any more? I don't think so, but I'm gonna show you, all right? So 56 times four. Six times four is 24, carry the two. Five times four, 20, plus the two, 22. Too big, too big. We have to use three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three right here. Three times 56, we had 168. 168 right here. Our next step is subtraction. So I need to borrow, don't I? Because five minus eight, no, I can't do it, can I? So I need to borrow from next door. So this will be a seven. This will be a 15. 15 minus eight, yeah, seven. Sun from heaven. And then seven minus six, uno, one. All right. I wonder how they, uh, they say one in the Philippines. I gotta find that out. Hey, then we bring down the next number. Just bring it down. Mm, boom right here 179 now but this is this is a this is a nice problem so thank you very much for requesting this um it's going to be three again because if it's four it's too big so we're just going to use three so let's go ahead and put three right here so three times 56 again is 168 and then i'm going to go ahead and subtract and nine minus eight is one seven minus six is one 
And for today, we're just going to put remainder. So I'm going to go ahead and put a remainder right here. Remainder 11 sent from heaven. Hey, what'd you think about that? I had a fun time on this show. Hey, I'm going to be starting to do lots of more math videos. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm so excited to be back. I got a new studio. If you check out some other my other videos, I'm doing a lot of online work. Um, I'm teaching online, doing this stuff online. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting year. Hey, put a comment down below. When you're doing that, hit that likey button first. Put a comment, then hit the subscribe button. You got to do all three. If you want to, send me cookies. No, I'm just teasing. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day out there. I look forward to seeing you more. Ooh, yeah. All right, talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.